Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So today we're gonna do an unwrapping and we're gonna unwrap this pillar that I had poured in the rain and storm. Let me show you right here. Now I'll put some outtakes of uh, me doing the original assembly for those who it's your first time joining. And if you are a first time joiner, here at this show I'm trying to build a thousand year home. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm building a thousand year house. And so I need to, to build that thousand year house. I have to keep the cattle out. So I showed you in the, uh, probably some outtakes that I put that I had taken a uh, old, uh, I believe that that's just a uh, protein bucket for cattle. And I had cut that bucket and uh, along the seam and then I cut the bottom out and then I used zip ties on it and I zip tied it all back together as a form and then I stacked the stones and poured the concrete all in one step. So now comes the day where can I even get the bucket off? Now I'm not too worried if I fail to just pry the bucket out I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bucket out with a um, angle grinder all the way around. I would like to reuse this one bucket over there for the upright uh, that'll be used for the um, uh, the pedestal where it rests. So let's see if we can get this done. I'm super excited. Now I had done this in, uh, I wanted to get my cement mixer done and uh, instead a storm had come up and forced me. So I wanted to pour this thing with my uh, concrete mixer on my tractor, which I dropped on my foot and I've hurt my foot, but um, you know, you shouldn't use flip-flops while you build. <laughs> and now I have to wear flip-flops because I hurt my foot. Because I was wearing flip-flops. Alright. Get that side of it. I'm hoping it just peels right out of there. I don't know if it will or not. One reason why I think it may not just come off is because uh, the plastic protein container has little ledges and lips down there on the bottom. And I suspect that those got in the way and uh, they're going to grip the concrete pretty tightly. But we'll see. We'll see. I hope that it uh, does come apart. That should be a, the three that I was holding there. Very good. Now this pipe was stuck in here with a plastic bag on it because uh, I didn't want concrete to come up underneath and fill up this pipe, this round pipe. So I have to pull this out too as well. But I see what I feared was going to happen did happen. It is jammed in there pretty solidly. What I can't do is... Uh, I can't leave that in there. I'm going to have to keep working at it. All right, let's see how this works. What do you think, Internet? It's going to come out of there? Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. I could see that uh, if I pry too much on all of those, I'm just going to pry these all loose. Some of these are not being held very tightly. Well, rather than break it all apart, trying to get it out, let's just cut it.
right. Let's see if I can get that out of the way off. Oh, I'm missing some spots. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. It'll be a little bit of cleanup. Oh, a little bit of blue up. Well, that didn't work too badly. It's a little on the rough side, and that's what I was looking for. I think it has rugged charm. It looks like it's all even. I will put a cap on it now. I'll cut those out and I'll stack those right now. Then I'll mortar them proper. Let's fix this one boo-boo here. The concrete didn't bind to that and or when I used that post. I... I think that answers the question. Can you can you pour concrete into a wall and have it hold like mortar? And uh, yeah, sort of. You wouldn't want to do a structural wall this way, that's for sure. So this is how I built it. I used this, uh, this is just leveling cement. So, let me see. I knocked this, this one loose. And just right now, with that cry bar. So, what I'll ultimately do is I'll end up, uh, you know, chipping it clean. And then coming back in and uh, scrubbing it all with an acid wash just to make it look nice. Let's ship that clean. So this concrete is only a few days old and it will need 28 days to reach full, full hardened before I stick that pipe in there. But I'm pretty happy overall. I'm getting it early enough that I'm getting these things off without much of an effort. I had originally wondered if I was going to have to come in with a chisel and chisel some edges onto this so it looked a little, little fancier, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I, I don't think I get anything out of it by chipping edges in it like that. I think it's an unnecessary step. that cure and then I'll be able to scrape that little bit of rubber off. Well, that's cleaning up pretty well. Let me show you So those protein buckets make a pretty good form for uh, those protein buckets make a pretty good form for a fence post don't they? Ah. 
I would have brought a wire brush right now. I'd be getting done with this. Either. Man, that worked out pretty darn good. I'll be happier when a cement mixer gets involved. So I'm just trying to give it an idea of a stack stone without mortar, and I honestly think I've accomplished it. Now if I would wait longer, this concrete would be too hard for me to, to work this easily. This is day two of it being poured. And that's why I'm going to wait 20 days before I put the pipe in, just to let it age out a little bit, get pretty firm. And then the stuff that's a little rubbery was actually floor leveler. And all I wanted to do is have it plug the holes why the concrete was poured and uh, kind of stick them together just a little bit uh, with the hopes that when I poured the concrete behind everything it would firm it all up and and I think it did and there we go I think that's a reasonable stack stone I don't think it'll go anywhere. I think I could even bump into it once or twice. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll stack it with stones and uh, zip tie it and reuse that. And maybe I can reuse that all the time now that the bottom's missing. And if I don't need a, you know, something for space, hanging in space like I did there. All right, I think y'all are pleased with that too. Let me know, like, subscribe if you like it. Two different ideas for the top. One would be just keep it even with that and uh, line everything up. And that's okay. <laughs> but I kind of like having a little drip edge on it. So I'm going to get enough of these around that I can have a little drip edge here. And, uh, you know, I'll cut and chisel them so that they're all ready and done. Let me go ahead and find my stones. I don't know. I'm going to chew on that one. It looked better in my brain than it does in reality. Now I know I need to cut those so they, they look right, but I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed. Alright, well that's before I do the mortar in the top. Make it all look nice. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. You know, it's just an old farmer stack stone. It doesn't have to look great. I put one little odd piece in there just to catch your eye. So, I would say this is okay for a fence post, but I wouldn't build a whole wall this way, I've decided. The concrete isn't as sticky as mortar. It doesn't give me as much grip on the uh, stone. Um, so I don't know how long those are going to stay in place. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out together. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Thank you for watching. That was my stack stone unveiling. Uh, I'm really liking it. Let me show you it in its, its environment so you could appreciate it. All right, so you come in. I mow in here. Well, I got a chance. And then that, that will look really good. I'll have a sister one there. 
and then my pipe gate will go across there. I think that'll be very, very attractive when I get all the way done. So, this is Steve, a thousand year home. I, I said that that pipe gate will last a thousand years. I don't know. I, I, I could have made it better. But uh, you know what? In my defense, the storm came up. I poured that mud in the pouring rain. It was getting flooded. That diminishes the strength of a cement a lot. Like, not just a little. It goes from 65,000 pound PSI to, you know, 20,000 pound PSI. But uh, mostly that gate will just rest on the rest. It only needs the support when it swings. And I only need to swing it when I put cattle out here, uh, which is twice, three, three times a year. So three times a year that gate will open. If you do that, and it might last a thousand years. Uh, it'll just get harder and harder as well. It takes 28 full days for it to cure. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting a lot out of it right away. But uh, Anyway, I want to build a whole wall out of this idea of uh, stacked stones and then pouring concrete in there. I honestly wanted, I don't think that is structurally strong enough. Things, you know, a post with rebar in it, poured concrete in the bottom. I'm okay with it. The limestone wrap around the outside isn't structural. It's just a facade. I think it looks pretty good already, and I'm not done with that capstone. Once I get done with the capstone, it'll, it'll look really nice. 